I'm pleased to be here today with Frank Effenberger, who's one of ITU's key experts in the area of optical access technologies. Welcome, Frank. Thank you. I was wondering if you could uh, start off by telling us what are optical access technologies. Sure. So optical access is when you use optical fiber to provide broadband services uh, to the customers. Uh, it's known by uh, several names, fiber to the home, uh, fiber to the business, fiber to the premises, but those are all basically the same thing. Uh, so inside of that, uh, passive optical networking is very important uh, because it allows you to save a lot on the fiber and the central office equipment. So that's really one of the major uh, technologies used for optical access. And uh, PON, passive optical networking, was something that we, we, we talked about a few years ago uh, and standardized a few years ago here in ITU. Are there many uh, deployments of, of PON technologies in the world? Actually, yes. Uh, currently, uh, there's uh, deployments really scattered all over the world. Uh, the major ones are in uh, China and in Japan and in the United States. And uh, all told, we have about 100 million lines of uh, uh, optical access uh, active uh, right now. And, and, and what are the new developments in uh, PON technology? So for context, the technology that we use today is uh, GPON or EPON. Uh, about in 2010, uh, 10 gigabit PON systems were standardized and we're starting to see some small deployments of those now and that we expect that to continue. Uh, currently, the industry is working on the uh, next generation after that, uh, something called uh, NG PON2, next generation PON, the second one. Uh, and this one, this system uh, offers bandwidths of 40 to 80 gigabits. Uh, that's bi-directionally. Mm -hmm. uh, it can go 40 kilometers. Uh, it can perhaps even cover 256 uh, different endpoints. Uh, so that's quite a, a, a large uh, array of capabilities. And it's seen by some as perhaps maybe the last uh, uh, PON technology that will be developed, at least in this uh, general family of technology. R really, so the, the what, what's the evolution path then beyond that, uh, if, if, if that's the sort of theoretical maximum that you can reach? Well, it's, not, it's usually not the theoretical maximum, but more the practical, what is co very cost effective. Um, going beyond those bandwidths is probably something more like a WDM uh, PON. Uh, where you have uh, one wavelength per endpoint and, and they get you know, quite a high bandwidth that way. Okay, that's very interesting. We're looking forward to hearing uh, more news about PON in the, in, the, in the coming years. Frank, thanks very much for joining us here today. Okay, thanks for having me.